More and more people are trying to cut down on meat. This might be for health reasons, concern for animal welfare, or for environmental reasons. Vegetable proteins, nuts and seeds all have a significantly lower carbon footprint than meat. Whatever their reason, people's eating habits are changing. And one of the big winners being plant-based protein, used as a meat substitute, which has rapidly become a staple of fast food menus and supermarket ready meals. But appearances can deceive. A worrying number of alternative meat companies have found themselves struggling over the past year, laying off staff and seeing share prices drop. We are seeing a slowdown in the growth of meat substitutes currently. And this is because recurring purchases are lower than expected. But we do believe that because of innovation in taste, flavor and textures, the growth will come back. It seems there are a number of barriers that are preventing plant-based meats from becoming truly mainstream. And overcoming these barriers will require many stakeholders to work together. Let's start with the financial community. Investment in plant-based meat products tripled in 2021. Like every other sector, banks are committed to reaching net zero by 2050. But they also need to be profitable. Will they stick with the alternative meat sector if it continues to underperform against the wider market? Next, the producers. Are they giving consumers what they want? 95% of consumers say it is important that plant-based foods have a short, simple list of familiar ingredients. That isn't always what they get. The products are perceived as over-processed. Retailers next, could they do more? They often seem to give consumers too much choice. That's if consumers can even find plant-based products. Are they in the meat aisle, dairy, with the fresh veg? Every supermarket seems to have its own system. Retailers will also need help with our fourth stakeholder, governments. Consumers need good labeling to make good choices. Nutri-Score offers consumers easy to understand, color-coded ratings, and EcoScore marks products from A plus to G, based on their environmental impact. But both are currently optional in Europe. If governments made it compulsory, it could help to shift consumers towards plant-based meats. Combine these initiatives with higher taxes for meat, reflecting its carbon footprint, and the shift could build momentum. Finally, consumers. You and me. Can we shake off our addiction to meat? Under one in ten of us are vegetarians. Then there's the cost question. Are we willing to pay more to help the planet? Going forward, we believe consumers and retailers will focus on emissions. And it is claimed that many of the plant-based foods have up to 90% lower emissions compared to animal-based foods. As we transition towards a future with less meat, all of us will need to play our part. It won't be easy. Livestock farming employs millions of people across the world. But there's no question that the environment needs us to eat more plants. And that means all of us stepping up to the plate.